What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and we are at this trailer. They are actually having a sale in here. All the items that are in here are for sale. So I wanted to come in here and see if I could find any items for profit. When I walked in, I immediately saw from the back this McDonald's vintage toy. I knew what it was worth immediately just from previous experiences going thrifting. And then I saw this tackle box after googling it and seeing that it was worth roughly around 30 bucks or so which is good profit considering they only wanted a dollar so far they want all these items fairly cheap the next thing that caught my eye was the magical words f-r-e-e-e -E -E. that means free baby and i went ahead and just put the item with my pile i didn't even open the box or anything to see if it was complete I just grabbed it because it was free and anything that's free we can always break down and sell pieces of board games if we have to if it's not complete even though I didn't look at the last board game that was free, this one doesn't have free on it and I'm not quite sure. So I went ahead and just put it in the pile. After looking at comps, it is a game that I can make some profit on. So I can go ahead and get it and I'm gonna try to bargain them down and see if I can get the cheapest price possible. With this pivot pool, I don't see a price on it either, but it looks intriguing. So I'm gonna ask them exactly how much they want for it. See more board games, gonna go ahead and just look all of them up. I'm not gonna make you go through all of these board games with me and looking up all these comps, but I wanted to see if there's one that kind of stood out and I didn't know any of them by heart, especially the sub search game. That one intrigued me just because I know it's a playoff battleship a little bit, but it's a little bit older and vintage games do really, really well. So I'm definitely gonna get that game. You can see this Meet the President's game. I'm looking in it because I wanna make sure that all the pieces are there and see how completed it was. It had like some coins or something when I looked at the comps and I don't see coins in here. So I'm probably gonna put it back. Although it has comps between 15 and $30, I just think the coins are the key. So without the coins, I don't think people would really wanna buy this board game. So I'm just gonna put it back. I see this model, but without it having its top, I can't really identify it. So I'm gonna have to really leave it back. I was going through the box rummaging, seeing if there was a part or a piece or even this piece of paper had the name of this model, but it didn't. And therefore I can't really determine a value. Even if I take a picture of it, I can't find this item. So that kind of sucks. I really don't see nothing else in here. I do see a pile of books. I'm gonna walk over here and see if I can find something in the books. I see these drink holders that really aren't worth anything. Just wanted to see what they were anyway. And I go through the books and also we don't find any books that are gonna be profitable. I do see a lot of James Patterson books. I am a big James Patterson fan. Luckily, I didn't buy any books just cause and I also have majority of these books, but I saw this one gardening book and I thought it might be profitable, looked it up and it really wasn't. So I'm just gonna gather the rest of my stuff and just go ahead and check out. Yeah, I think I'm done. You think so? How much was this? Oh, a dollar. All the board games are a dollar. Okay. Just missing two balls. Right. You want to take this check? Um, yeah, please. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. After I had already paid for my stuff, I noticed that they wanted $75 for this Tunker truck. I wasn't going to get it anyway, but still $75. Wow. And also they had some other stuff on the outside, like a bunch of just random toys. They had some plush on the other side that I went through and they also had some books on the outside and stuff too. So I did end up going through all of this other stuff. I spent another 10 to 15 minutes just making sure that I wasn't leaving any profits behind, but they wanted $5 per book if you could see by the tag. And I knew that wasn't about to happen unless they had a book in here that was gonna be worth like 40 to 50 bucks and they didn't. Okay guys, we're here at the house. Let's go ahead and go over all the items that we found. It was a pretty decent day. Didn't spend a lot of money, so hopefully we can make some pretty decent profits. And you know that's how it is because you know your boy is pretty cheap. I don't like spending a lot of money. But uh, yeah, the first thing that we found was this tackle box. Not going to lie, when I first saw this box, I saw it come for like a hundred and something dollars. But when you check the actual sold comps, you see that it's only selling for $29.99, $34.88. And it's pretty consistent around that price. So 
with that being said i only paid a dollar for it so hopefully i can make at least a good 24 dollar profit on there at least a 20 dollar bill if i can make a 20 dollar bill i would be happy if i can make a little bit more that would be good i should make more because i am going to charge shipping everybody else has charged shipping and they're paying upwards to 20 dollars shipping so with that being said, I should make at least $25 on this item. Not too bad. And I actually cleaned it up already, as you can see, because it was a little bit dirty. So, yeah. Then we're going to have this old school 1974 vintage McDonald's Playhouse. I paid like two bucks for it, maybe three, I think, at the most. I'm not really sure. It does have a little crack on it. So maybe I can get like around 14 to 15 bucks for it. I'm going to have a yard sale here soon. I might put it up on the yard sale too. And if it happens to go on the yard sale, I may take 10 for it. On the very low end, I should make like around 14 bucks because on eBay, they are selling it for around $19 or so consistently and people are paying shipping. So hopefully I can get 14 bucks for mine. Then they had this Kaboom game that was for free. I went ahead and grabbed it just because it was free. It does look like it is complete for the most part. It looks like it's missing like some pins, I guess, that attaches this part right here so there's some pins that go in there that it's missing i guess to hold the balloons when you're blowing them up but besides that it has everything else and sold comps are around 29 dollars 26 bucks so if i can get 10 to 17 dollars on this item and have that be profit that would be nice i wouldn't even be mad because technically it was free although i did give them something for it another 1975 game this payday game sold comps for around 20 bucks or so it was in a free pile, didn't have a price on it. I think she told me a dollar, so I went ahead and gave her a dollar for it. Not bad, I can profit over 15 bucks on it. I'm gonna take that. And then this pivot pool game, this big pool game, yeah, you can see. She said it was missing two balls, I believe. So maybe I'll go search and try to find those balls online. I can get them for as low as like two or three bucks plus shipping. And you know, some people are trying to charge like $9 for shipping. So if I had to pay $20 to get two balls, I'm not going to do that. I would just sell it as is. But if I can happen to get those two balls for under around 15 bucks or so, somehow, some kind of different way, then I may do that. So I'm pretty sure there's a set out there for like $4.99 plus shipping. So I can just buy all those balls and just have extra balls and just sell this with a set of extra balls. So with that being said, there are people selling these for 50 bucks. So if I can get it actually completed, maybe I can get that 50 bucks. If I can't, maybe I can take like around 30 bucks or so for it. Because again, I only paid $1 for it. $1 for Pivot Pool. Not bad at all. Then we grab the Sub Search board game. Never heard of it before in my life. So it interests me just because how big it was. Like it looked like Battleship, but bigger. And that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Battleship, but bigger. And when I looked at Soulcom, it was like they sell consistently, like all the time for like 40 bucks, 47, 49, 49. That's what I have on my sold comps. So yeah, in around that $40 range, they sell consistently. So if I can make like around a good 30 to $35 profit on this item, I will be happy and that is not bad for me to spend have what what did i spend i believe i spent less than 10 to 13 dollars i believe i believe less than that i really want to say eight dollars so i was way off <laughs> yeah so we spent a total of eight dollars and we should definitely make well over 130 dollars or so somewhere in that range and that's profit that's not with the fees and shipping could be more and it probably could be a little bit less probably a little bit more but yeah nice little haul can't can't really beat that and i got a lot of board games <laughs> because they're vintage and these should really sell i do hope that these sell coming up soon because we are coming into the time of the season where a lot of items sell a bunch of random stuff will sell and we're getting to that time baby gotta prepare for christmas get ready for christmas already can't believe i'm even saying those words Christmas. Makes me think of that song. Christmas, Christmas time is here. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it to you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the channel. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Like, you guys have no idea how much it means to me. Like, and I just will always say that. Thank you. And just a little small little, my mother <laughs> got me this star. <laughs> um, I don't know. Guys, I never really talk about my mom too much on the channel a lot, you know, but just want to say I love you, mother. I really, really do. Um, yeah, I, I love you. <laughs> you know, um, 
I'm just so blessed to have her in my life. And, you know, every relationship in the world has ups and downs and battles and everything like that. But my mom has always been like, you know, I've always loved my mom, always loved my mom dearly. And she knows that. And, you know, I know she loves me too. So it's just amazing. She just did some, some wonderful stuff for me. You know what I mean? Just for her baby boy, you know? But yeah, I love you, mom. And thank you. She gave her boy an Oscar. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. With that being said, thank you guys just for all the support that you give me. Please smash that like button. Um, you know, subscribe if you aren't current. Current, current. If I, can, I can't even say the word, so I guess maybe you shouldn't subscribe. I can't even talk. So why would you subscribe to somebody who came and formulate sentences? Yeah, that. Yeah. So I'm sorry about that. But what you can do, if I can't talk, you can go bless somebody today because I promise you, I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.